Hey y'all, welcome. Welcome back to part two of today's stream. We are doing some more of Final Fantasy 1. Oh my god, what the heck? I stuck my I stuck my peely back on during the break. Um, hopefully it stays this time. I do need I do need to do my nails this weekend. They they do need they do need a mani. Um, but I was trying to be lazy today. I didn't want to, I didn't do them. I was doing some chores and stuff instead. Okay. Alright, we are we're grinding. We're grinding. We're trying to get some money, 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 money. We're trying to go for 6,000 gil. Also, when I got myself a body armor. I feel like that's kind of dry. And water just wasn't doing enough. <clears throat> I need fuel to beat up these monsters. I'm surprised I really don't have a speed up option. Let's see if I press some function keys. No? They're not doing anything. Hmm. I guess this really is as fast as I can go. I want zooms! Can't let Koneko stay down. Thank you so much, Jane. Thank you. Okay. This battle should get us to that halfway to six. Get it, Karen! Thank you. I' getting it. We're trying to we're trying to earn that money by um by doing some shakedown on some wolves in the woods. I think that would work in real life. I think if you just found some wolves in the woods and like punched them in the nose, they would give you money. Like, I, I think that would really work and we should try it. You, do, do you wanna, you wanna go with me, Jane? And try it. <laughs> I think it would work. Cause you know, they store their gold in their noses. So that's all you gotta do. This game taught me that. <laughs> you don't like this idea, Lunar? You don't like it? I don't know why you wouldn't like it. I mean, these wolves are like coming for me, you know? Like, I'm not trying to be out here in their business. I'm walking and they're attacking. Not particular. <laughs> can't imagine why. I mean, I can't imagine why. Excuse me. 
can't wait to get this GI thing resolved like 24-7 now. 24-7, I'm like slightly nauseous. What, whatever gave me this, whatever gave me this that, that triggered it and caused it, like, I, uh, I wish terrible things. I wish terrible things on whatever that, whatever that was, however that happened. We're going to cure you out of battle. Oh, and that's all her cures. Okay. How much gills we got? Oh, we don't even have the 3,000 yet. Let's do one more battle. One more battle. Try to get the 3,000. And we'll try to up we'll upgrade our white mage's spells. Oh. Just going to attack. Oh, you're going to miss. Okay. Okay, we've got 3,000. Let's go get our white mage some spells. Oh, in town I run. Well, I mean, I don't care about running in town. The heck. Let's try to make the overworld map stuff faster. Okay. Kira, we definitely need you. Damage to all undead, no blaze, and heal. Okay, I want Kira. I want heal. I want Diara. Yes, okay. Now let's get another 3,000 so our black mage can have um, her spells upgraded. I don't need town to go faster, game. I need the overworld map to go faster. Duh! Queen, you agree? She's laying on the couch behind me. I don't think she's out of frame. Yeah, y'all can't see her. She's on the other side of the couch. Oh, yeah, I can't. Oh, but I can Kira. Okay, here we go. Woo! That's some nice, nice heals. Real big. Oh no, I didn't mean to do it again. Hopefully he'll die first, yeah. <gasps> Maybe cursor memory isn't the best thing. I think I, I, think I need to turn that off. Uh, configuration, yeah. Cursor memory off. Ogres! Yes, most of the time I am just attacking, so I think Curse Memory being on right now is not the best. Because there's no concept of MP in this game, it's just spell slots. Very D&D &D like that. them to run. That's less guilt for me.
Or at least I'm collecting antidotes and po potions. That should be good. How many have I got? Oh, five antidotes and ten potions. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to go in the town. Get out of there. Why are they going to call the elf town Elfheim? Couldn't they have, like, done something more creative? Elfheim. If the dwarf town is called Dwarf Mountain, I swear. There we go, that's what I like to see. Bunch of Okos in a row. Okos in a row, Kos. Okay, I am not getting Gil very fast. Maybe because I'm walking in the wood area? Maybe I should walk in the grass area. See if I can get some um, higher encounters this way. Ocean monsters were giving me more money. I'm good. Well, I'll try to sail around. Yeah, let's go. Come sail away, come sail away, come sail away with me. Come sail away, come sail away, come sail away with me.
Okay, how much money am I gonna get? Lots more money. I should have been fighting in the ocean. Okay, we do need to go take a nap at the cheap nap place. But, uh, but yeah, that was much better than trying to fight wolves in the woods. The heck? I was doing that so wrong. Should have been fighting pirates in the ocean. Yep, 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 yep. Way more. Nice, okay. We have a better strat now. Let's go take a nap. I love cherry lime flavor. It's delicious. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now I'm in the money, honey. Don't make my mistake when you're grinding out for Elfheim. Grind in the ocean. two of your friends before you could even hit me. I took out all y'all before you could even hit me. I bet you're embarrassed. He saw what I did to his other shark friends. He tried to run. He tried to run, but no. You crumble into, into pixels. halfway there. Or well, all the way there to get the Black Mage spells. And then, with it going this fast, maybe we could get some level 4 spells. Now it's not going so low as heck anymore. Okay. All 
Alrighty. We got white mage before, let's go get our black mage ones. Okay. Um. Uh, da -da 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 -da. um. Well, I know I want Sundara and Fyra. Where's evasion? Paralyzes. Let's get the paralyzed one. Okay. Alright, sweet. How much gill I got now? Okay, 638. Let's get back in our boat. Oh, Cobras, I hadn't seen you before. Don't worry, I kill you too. Yeah, we're doing Final Fantasy 1 now, Possum. We're going to try to 100% this one too, although I don't know as much about this game. So if you if you have any tips or anything, if you know anything, uh, tell me. Anything you think I might not have figured out yet. We're, we're in all time right now, by the way. I'm grinding to buy the spells. We got our um, level 3 spells. We gotta, I'm trying to get our level 4 spells. Okay, I've already found out the ocean monsters drop a lot more money than the forest monsters, so we're, uh, we're grinding the ocean. I beat the OG NES game that could softlock you and spells never worked. Yeah, I heard that the original version of this game was super fucking broken. This is Pixel Remaster version, by the way. On PC, on Steam. Yeah, I never, I never played the OG, by the way. The only version of this game I've ever had besides this one right here was um, when they re-released it on PlayStation. And then I only ever remember getting to the cave, the cave we're about to go to. And I, I have no idea about after that. Oh, doing some cross-stitching. Um, my mom used to do a lot of cross-stitching. I don't know if I've told you that before, Koneko. We had so many like cross-stitching like samplers and patterns and things that she had made hanging up around the house when I was growing up because that was a big hobby of hers. I tried it a couple of times. Um, it, was, it was very relaxing, very soothing. You know, it's a nice little hobby. What are you cross-stitching? Is it one of those sampler things or is it um, something else? I picked it up as a hobby shortly before lockdowns. So I got kind of addicted. It's very chill, but I have to have the time for it. Yes, you do kind of have to like really sit down and dedicate time to make good progress. You can't just do it a little bit here and there. You have to like pull out all the stuff and like really sit down and do it. You know. Uh, I hate you, big eyes. God. Yeah, he's already gazed, okay? There we go. Got him. I'm doing a pre-made pattern. It's a leopard! 
I've been working on this one for a while because I haven't had much time over the past year. Currently working on with the white thread. Oh, nice. Um, if you have any that you've finished, you should post um, some pictures of them. I would love to see them. Okay. Now that I have the... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was hoping for that. Okay, we're going to try to fire them all. Make these battles go a little faster. So yeah, the level 2 spells cast on all. Yes! Good job, Koneko. Let's try Thundara. See how that one does on these guys. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Maybe a third of the way done with the pattern? Oh, nice, okay. You got progress. Yellow thread, base body has been done for a while, currently working on the white thread, muzzle, ears, eyes, after that I'll probably do brown thread, then black thread, and then decide if I want to do the leaves in the background or move on to another pattern. Oh, okay. Cross stitching is pretty cool. Okay, we'll be able to buy one of the spells um, in a minute. I have a lot of thread left over because this pattern assumes you fill in the background with white and also assumes you use three strands where I prefer to use two strands. I've been using two. Free extra is nice. Yeah, that is nice. Do you just order that stuff online nowadays? I remember going to the craft store and picking out new patterns and, uh, and pretty thread colors with my mom. Aw, oh, he's out. He's out of that slot. Boo. Oh, your gaze missed. I don't, I still go to hobby craft stores in person. That that's so nice. That's so nice. Here we're having a lot of trouble in a lot of areas with our hobby and craft stores being like super understaffed. Um, this is actually happening at Target as well. Um, and you can tell they're understaffed because they're always a fucking mess and you can't find anything. And um, the people that are working there don't have time to help you find it. But I used to love to go and go into hobby stores like Joann's and Michael's and stuff. Dragon, hello! My girlfriend broke up with me and when she found out I only had nine toes, she was lactose intolerant. Wow. That's bigoted against people with less than 10 toes. You shouldn't be bigoted against things people can't help. Oh, your jokes are so funny, Dragon. Did you hear that Aladdin was banned from the magic carpet race? He was caught using performance enhancing rugs. <gasps> There's something strange afoot there. Wow. You know what else is funny? What's funny, dragon? Is it gonna be another pun? Okay, I can buy. I can buy. Let's go. My face? Your face is not funny. Your face is beautiful.
What if I'm wearing clown paint right now? There's something to that, Dragon. There's something to that. Did you know that, um, that Juggalo face paint, the black and white that they do, the same Clown Posse fans do, uh, really messes with facial recognition software? So, anyways, um, this is just, just an anecdote. I'm not saying do this, but certain activities, um, could benefit from knowing how to do a little bit of Juggalo paint. I'm just saying. Don't go to your protest without it. Oh, Lord. Okay. Stop talking, Karen. <laughs> I'm not endorsing it. It's a joke. Depending on what the protest is about. Okay, let's go see about our black magic. You don't know my life. You're not my, <laughs> you're not my mom. I could be. You don't know. Oh, shit. Haste. Okay, we've got Sleepra, one enemy asleep. Confuse. Okay, well, we definitely want Blizzara. I'm protesting. How else would you know if it works? Yes. Exactly. You're not old enough? Oh, good. <laughs> uh, Poisana, Fear, Null Frost, or Vox. I definitely want Poisana. Okay. Let's grind up and get Poisana, and then we will move on. Poisana was my nickname in high school. Were you poisoned? Were you toxic? Okay, funny story about being toxic. I'm ready. I'm ready for your story. Sounds like the boys are frying bacon in the kitchen. It smells really good. Poisana heals a character from poison, so it's anti-toxic. That's true. That's true. It's a healing spell. Me and my friends were the loud, obnoxious types in the old Call of Duty lobbies. Uh, we ended up getting one kid crying. We said stupid stuff like, we bet your mom never put your pictures on the fridge, or I bet you're, you eat Kit Kat sideways. And his mom got on, and we came back at her as well. What the heck? That is toxic. <laughs> Dragon, I can't believe you did that. People are so stupid when they're young. I mean, I was too, you know what I mean? But I didn't play Call of Duty, so I can't say I was toxic in the Call of Duty lobbies. I guess I was toxic elsewhere. <laughs> they're not terrible, though. Just stupid stuff. Yeah, like you eat your Kit Kat sideways. That's a pretty funny one. Poor kid. Poor kid. He probably had a lot going on in his life if that's all it took to make him cry. Bet you leave trash in your friend's car. Oh my fucking god. You just gave me flashbacks to some frenemies I had in high school. Always trash in the fuck out of my car. Now I trash the fuck out of my car. I don't really clean it. Um, why? There's no point. I bet you think Africa is a country. <laughs> No, but our politicians think Singapore is a city. In China. <laughs> Kill me. <laughs> yes, cheap naps. We're going to take the cheap nap. Zing, yeah. That was so embarrassing. Okay, but we can do ice. Okay, let's um, let's ice them. Let's ice them. We can do it. Okay, but the number of Americans on Reddit who think Europe is a country in the Netherlands is where Peter Pan lives is silly. But Koneko, um, 
Don't don't you don't have Peter Pan in the in the Netherlands? That's where he's from. Big Ben is in the Netherlands. That features in in the movie. <laughs> right? It was embarrassing when one of our politicians would race to be in front of the bunch of other Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's embarrassing. It's very embarrassing. You know, I can't I can't really say like I can't really say too much about like, oh, Americans are stupid about geography because like Europeans don't understand how America is like they really don't understand the sheer size of it. They think you can just take a day trip down to Disney World in Florida, you know, like they don't understand that different states in the United States are basically countries um, in Europe. And so when you when you understand that that's how America is, that's how the U.S. is, you can totally see why. In Americans' minds that are not very well educated, they might think that Europe is like the a whole country, the way that the United States is a whole country, um, with different states inside of it, like the different European countries. Because they probably hear European Union and they just, they don't understand how you can all have one currency and, uh, and, and not be the way that the United States works. So like, I get why Americans think that. Something, something, someone's Peter in someone's Netherlands. <laughs> Zing. <laughs> anyway, no, we don't have Peter Pan here. We do have the best fairy tale theme theme park, though. You've shown me. I want to go there someday. It looks so freaking cool. Y'all do have the coolest looking uh, fairy tale theme park for real. So yeah, I think that's why like Americans don't understand that the European countries are literally different countries just because of the way that um, states operate over here. Europeans underestimate the sheer size of the US, yeah. Americans underestimate the sheer age of Europe, true. True! Yeah, like my parents recently went um, went on a cruise in Europe, and I can't remember what which country or which castle, it, or no, it was a church. They were going to a church, and they didn't get to go and do the tour because the day that they were there, it was Sunday, so they were having service, and um, they did have some guests complain, like, how are they going to have service at a tourist spot? Like people, they're just still they're still using it, like they're still using it. <laughs> It's not, it's not like that. So, um, so yeah, there's, uh, there's misunderstandings for sure. Speaking of a cruise, I'm going on one this upcoming weekend. Oh, fuck yeah, Dragon. What, what cruise line are you going with? Are you going with Carnival? That's what I love. I love Carnival. Carnival, yes. What boat are you going on? No, I love it. They have the best food. They have the best drinks. Honestly, yeah, they're the cheapest, but they have the best in a lot of things. I've taken other cruise lines, and Carnival's is better in a lot of ways. You're going on the new boat? That, thing's ex that thing is expensive, though. If you're going on the newest boat, that's expensive. It just rolled off the line this year? Okay, that's not cheap, Dragon. I know when they're the new ships like that, how much they cost. That's not cheap. Cruise ship tours are either super prepared or they completely turn off their brain and think every country. Yeah, that's true, Koneko. That's true. I've been on many cruises. I can personally attest I have seen both sides of the spectrum of behavior. Jubilee, you're going on the Jubilee. I'm so jealous of you right now, Drag. You're going on the Jubilee? For real? I've been saving the past two years since our last cruise. I bet to get on the Jubilee right now. I want to go on it, not I once the price lowers a little. Too expensive right now. I'm so jealous of you, Dragon for real. Wait, I gotta look up. I gotta double check what's on the Jubilee. Hang on. Carnival Jubilee. Okay. Can't believe you're going on the Jubilee. I gotta check what restaurants are on there so I can tell you some things. Because I've not been on the Jubilee, but I've been on the Horizon and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't want all your advertising. I really just want to know what restaurants you have. Hang on. Okay, I found the, I found the list. Let's see what it's got. 
What you got, Jubilee? Okay, they got emeralds. Okay, so it's paid for, but you've got to get the uh, the beignets from the emeralds restaurant. They're so good. Um, my niece works as a dancer on a European cruise line. Oh, that's so cool, Koneko. I'm sad I wanted a balcony room, but they were all taken. We got one last time, and I love balconies. That's what we always get now. Let's see, what else do they have? <gasps> they have a Rudy's. Okay, okay, dragon. They have a paid for restaurant called Rudy's Sea Grill. You get, you get a, get a meal there. Get, mm, it's so good. It's so good. Okay, if you've not eaten at Rudy's before, you have to. They have this dessert called white chocolate bread pudding. I die. I kill myself eating this thing. It does not matter how full I am. I'm devouring it. Um, it's so freaking good. And let me just double check this one thing. Because this is another thing I'm going to tell you to order. If you get, if you go here. Okay. If you go, the best thing is either the um, Dover Soul or the Red Snapper. The Dover Soul or the Red Snapper. I think we were on the Spirit two years ago. Nice. You're fighting a boss. <laughs> you can win. You can win, Dragon. Okay. So you have to go to Rudy's. For real, no joke, and order either the Red Snapper or the Dover Soul, whichever one you, appeals to you more. Okay, they're delicious. And then get the um, white chocolate bread pudding for your dessert. Okay, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you it will be the best thing you've ever eaten. So good. Red Snapper sounds like a fish. Yes, it's a it's a seafood place. I can't eat seafood. You can't or you don't. Is this like a is this like an allergy thing or like a I don't like seafood thing? Because that changes my answer, which one, whichever one it is. It makes me... No, really? Okay, never mind. Just kidding. Just kidding, because you don't want to order non -se not seafood from there. You want to get seafood. Dragon, I'm so... It's the best restaurant on the boat. It's the best. You're going to... Oh, you're missing out. I'm so sad for you. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Dang. Ah, oh, that sucks. You're sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you don't get to experience this. Okay, so we've gotten two. We got one one of each for Koneko and Lunar on those spells. I think we need to go have a nap. And then we need to head over to uh, to the next area. I think we're I think we're ready. I think I'm done grinding. I'm done with that nonsense. I feel like I missed some messages. Hang on, let me scroll back up the chat. Oh, wrong word. My cousin, not my niece. I have a niece in the same age range. Oh, <laughs> either way, that's so cool. That's so cool. People make fun of like um, cruise performers and stuff, but like some of those people are super talented. Like some of them really like um, are so good. I've seen some good shows on cruises. I've seen some bad ones too. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I've seen some bad ones too. But I've seen a lot of good ones as well. Some of them, are, some of those performers are pretty amazing. I'm sure your your cousin is uh is one of the amazing ones. I've been playing Remnant Two again. Nice. You beat up that boss dragon. You beat him up. Okay. We took a nap. Okay, we're back over here. Let's save. I got the first three books of the Stormlight Archive for free to read on the cruise. Nice. I don't do much on the islands because it's super, because um, I burn super easily. Same dragon. There's been plenty of cruises where I never got off the boat, you know, because I was just there to relax and chill. And I would just read my books and listen to music and stuff and just chit chat with my fam. My cousin's super talented. She's been praised for her performance a few times. I believe last cruise season she got to step in when another dancer was unwell for a night. Nice. Yeah, and it gets bad. I burn super easily too. Super, super easily. Any redness you see on my face, I promise you it's not a sunburn. It's rosacea or blush. Because um, I sunscreen every day, even if I don't go outside that day. Even if I am not, le I know I'm not leaving my house all day. I still put on sunscreen. Some cruise, Navy gal. Guy is rolling right now, calling it a boat. It is a boat. I call him a boat too, because it upsets Levi. He gets annoyed. He's like, it's a ship. 
the ship. I say boat, because it's funny. Oh wait, I need to turn encounters back on. Okay, we're heading to the marsh cave, you guys. What do you think we're gonna find in there? Probably marshes and stuff. They're, they're very big, carnival especially. Man, the Jubilee's gigantic. My cat about dialed you the other day. She was attacking my phone and idling on your server. Oh my God. I would have talked to her. <laughs> I would have talked to a cat. What do a cannon and a cannon have in common? They both sink ships. She's a talkative cat, good. One of our cats is very talkative too, Queen. She never stops meowing. I thought, I thought maybe she was in here, but I looked back, she's not. Yeah, I would have talked to a cat. I do it all the time. Queen goes meow, I go meow. And she goes meow, and I go meow. All the time. Have I posted pics? She's a naked cat. If you have, I've forgotten, and I would love to see your naked cat again. Oop, not that way. Yeah, that girl, um, Strange Aeons on YouTube has some of those kind of cats. They're so cute. Based on ears, gloves. Yeah, I'm, I am. I am a cat girl. That's true. So I, I totally vibe with all the kitties. If I didn't know how like actually horrible it was for the animals, um, I would totally get like a like a pet uh, tiger or something, you know. But we just don't have. There's no space for it. You can't really keep them. But I love all kitties, big kitties, little kitties, you know, feral kitties, feisty kitties, sweet kitties. They're all good. Don't be sorry for that. He goes sorry. The house smells like bacon. Oh, it smells so good. It does smell good. It smells amazing in here. Don't want to bring down the vibe, but I had to put down... Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, we went through that with our dog. Uh, not this past September, but the September before. Um, we have a little memorial for her. If I've not shown it to you, I can. Um, putting that up really helped us. And uh, and I do recommend something like that. And I have her... like She's, uh, she's on my phone lock screen, too. I have my my lock screen rotates so it's a new picture every hour and um she's uh and she's on she's on uh she's on rotation there our dog lived forever though she was like 16 or something like that but yeah dragon it's fine to say sad stuff you know i don't i don't um i don't mind sad or serious stuff when it's from you guys that have been in the community for for a long time, you know? It does kind of bother me when a brand new person comes in here and does that, because I'm like, hello, I don't even know you. Um, but if you're not new, I think it's just normal. It's a normal part of, like, having a bit of a friendship, you know? Even if it's an online friendship. Tarantulas! She's still in the emotes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, your sub did run out, Koneko. We're going to have to fix that at some point. You're here so much, I don't think it's fair for you to get ads, you know? Oh, shit, I'm poisoned. Um. We had a 23-year-old black cat. Holy, I hope my black cat lives to 23. At 12, and then Katya who is now three years old. Oh, I see, I see. Oh my gosh, Luna, thank you so much. Thank you. Oh my God, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, you guys. Oh my gosh, I have to pause the recording real quick. Hang on. Recording people, I'll be back in a second. All right, welcome back, recording people. We have bubbles. We have bubbles. Also, it's freaking hilarious that I can use this. And <laughs> if you get a game over, yeah, I love that one. Um, but yeah, I found somebody that had made like a whole bunch of Final Fantasy emotes and I had more emote slots So I put a bunch in they didn't all work I probably accidentally put one in that didn't really work right if you're saying the flash is too harsh So I'll take a look at that and replace it Okay What were we doing? Oh, yeah, I'm looking for the, the cave Ah Here we go Okay marsh cave b1 Okay
Let's see, how bad are these skeletons? Oh, not too bad, not too bad. The Tomberry Rave one looks like it's working fine. The flashing is just painful to look at in dark mode. Oh, I see, I see. Alexa, stop. Well, I'll find a different one. Because if the flashing looks bad on, on dark mode, then there's no point. No one's ever going to use it. What's in here? Okay, that takes me down. It said B1, so I guess there's a B2 as well. Yes, one of those emotes is just too much. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Making emotes is a is a pretty serious skill. Like artists, like not every artist can make good emotes. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So this is B one. So the other one's got to be that rope must take us down to B two. I follow streamer Princess Kaura, who makes absolutely amazing emotes. Oh, they make their own emotes? That is cool. Okay, that's just a dead end. She has an Etsy store with emotes and such, too. Nice. If y'all could live in a video game, what would it be? Mm. I think I would live inside Viva Pinata. You just guard and intend to pinatas all day. And the, when bad things happen, they're not that bad. I think I would live in Viva Pinata. Wolf Quest, you would say so, Lunar. You would say so. What video game would you live in, Dragon? Oh, you're in the ads, I'm sorry. Baldur's Gate. I'll comment on that more when the ads are, are over. Okay, and then there's stairs. There's rope over there, there's stairs over here. Yeah, so here's B2. So there was nothing on that first floor. Hmm. Okay, maybe I grinded too much, because these guys are like, it's not, it's not very much. But I am really far away from, from my nap spot, so, you know, maybe that's a good thing. Alright, ad is over. Baldur's Gate. Dragon, Baldur's Gate seems kind of like a dangerous place. Um, you're, are you sure you'd want to live there? Oh, I got a dagger. I guess I shouldn't have bought that dagger for Koneko. Um, but the world ends with you, but it'd be like an NPC who's relevant to a mission like once or twice. I also like the idea of living in Kingdom Hearts, but it depends on which world I'd live in because some are certainly way more dangerous than others. True, Koneko, true. I think which Kingdom Hearts world you live in, you'd have to be very particular. Because um, some of the worlds would be cool and some of them would be awful. I like how the red skeleton's called blood bones. Yeah, why Boulder's Gate, Dragon? Hell yeah, I'm sorry, but Carlash, <laughs> Minthrin, <laughs> Elf Center to die for. <laughs> so you would literally die for them. That's what I'm hearing. 
You would die for them. <laughs> I understand, though. I understand. My friends already said I'm a bard paladin multi-class. That's true. You would definitely have some bard levels in you. Those puns. Like, you got talent there, friend. If I could pick a world, I'd choose either post Kingdom Hearts 2 Radiant Garden, because Radiant Garden is my favorite world, but it sure gets dangerous before that point, yeah. Or Twilight Town, which is way more chill. Or maybe Scala at Kalem, depending on what we see about in the next game. Yeah. Oh, I'm excited that we're going to get a new numbered Kingdom Hearts at some point. Why is the green slime wearing lipstick? Who's it got to impress? Are you gonna go do some smooching? Okay, those are, these attacks are doing nothing. Uh, why don't you antidote yourself? You can just defend. Um. Try fire. We gotta play Baldur's Gate 3. I try to play it. It wouldn't really run very well on my laptop. Um, which is what I do for like my personal games. I'm sure it would run fine on this computer because it for my stream, it's a lot bigger and stuff. But I don't know. Um, I hesitate. I hesitate, because it's such a massive game. And I don't know if it's popular to stream it anymore. Ooh, treasure. Potion? Ooh, Gil! Oh, that's right, wait, 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 wait. I need you to attack this Eider. And we're gonna Thundara these bitches. Probably not any more popular than FF1. True. True. But I'm trying to, like, niche down, you know? That's why I'm doing, like, Final Fantasy games as, like, a niche, because since the pandemic kind of, like, ended and people are a bit over it, um, variety streaming really doesn't grow. Like, and if you don't, if you're not having some new people come in regularly, then you're just waiting for your channel to die. And, and, and I don't mean that it's about, like, follower counts or, or viewer counts or any of that. I just mean purely, like, making sure that we have enough people in here that it's fun for me and fun for you guys, you know? So that's why I've, like, tunneled into, like, doing Final Fantasy Completionist playthroughs. And that you don't see the variety of other RPGs and stuff on my channel anymore. Chest. Okay, got more kill. Well, this should help us get those spells that we didn't get. I know, dragon. I know. I just do want to explain to people, because I do know I used to be variety. And you don't find a lot of variety streamers on Twitch anymore, so it's not uncommon for people to like want the variety back, but just the numbers don't lie. You know what I mean? Doing variety, people do not come in. You know, I'm not attracting any new people that way. Which ultimately ends up being unfun for everybody. Okay. Is there anything else on here? I think I got it all. Are you jumping back into retail? No. I doubt it. I don't know. I just... I haven't played a WoW expansion that I liked. Really liked. Since Wrath. Like... In Kata, I just pet battled. 
And then I've tried the other expansions. Like, I've played through them, and I just... They're not for me. Have you not liked Legion and Dragonflight? So I played through Legion. Wasn't the big fan. Um, I did not give Dragonflight a try. Because uh, I, I think, like, Legion was the last one that I played. I just kind of, like, gave up, you know? Okay, I guess we need to take the rope that we found before down now. Miss a Pandaria story was great. It's not about the story. Okay, it's not about the story. It's about the game and the pacing and the... And the way it makes you feel. Like, the earlier expansions of WoW make you feel like the world is the main character and you're just a part of it. And that slowly changed until, like, you are the hero. And I, it's not what I want in an MMO. It's just not what I'm interested in. I, I enjoy the world being the main character and myself being insignificant. Um... So, Modern WoW just doesn't, doesn't hit for me. One hundred percent makes sense to me, yeah. And you have to understand also when it comes to MMOs, like, I am an OG MMO player, you know? Like EverQuest was the first one that really hooked me. Um, but, uh, but I'm like super familiar with the genre super familiar with the genre and so it's just it's hard for me to get into a lot of more modern MMOs because most of them don't have both the essence of the genre that I love and enough player base to make it work it's a very it's very hard it's very hard to create a game that is a that is a MMO that gives you the same feeling that you got playing those early 2000s MMOs and late 90s MMOs, you know? Can I attack the blue ones? Yes, okay, the blue ones I can attack. It's only the green ones that I have to use magic. Okay, let's take this ladder now. Okay, yeah, so we're now we're in another part of B2. Oh, okay. This thing is gigantic. So yeah, Modern WoW, I just think the vibes are different. And I want my MMOs, like, I don't, I don't want my MMOs to feel grindy, but they need a little bit of grind and a little bit of crunch. Like, just a little bit. And I think that's why Classic WoW is so perfect for me, because it's got a little bit of crunch and grind, um, but not too much. I'll tell you what I mean by that. Like in Classic WoW, to get around to the different cities, you, because it's so big, you take zeppelins and boats and, oh my gosh, Nikki, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, we'll, we'll do the wheel for you in a second. We'll do the wheel for you in a second. And welcome in, by the way. Um, and like in, in more modern MMOs, you teleport everywhere. And I don't like that because then the world is not the main character. So, so that's, that's. That's what my issue is with a lot of newer MMOs and the newer expansions. There's too much of that. I get it. ESO is for world story, but it's monetization and combat makes me hate it. Bingo, Dragon. I would love it. ESO, if it weren't for the way it was monetized. Um, I like Final, Final Fantasy XIV story, but I hate that it's a visual novel and it's combat. I love Guild Wars 2, but it also is performance. Yeah, like you're... Yes. Yes. I, I mean, I played, I played through a lot of the expansions of Final Fantasy XIV as well, but like once I play through the story for that game, like I'm done with it. I'm done with it, you know? Because, like, it's just, it doesn't grab me the way that WoW does. Like, with WoW, I just, I just want to be in that world. Okay, after this battle, we'll do the wheel for you, Nikki. The Zeppelins and boats were so immersive. Exactly. Like, it's so dumb, but in EverQuest, I would get on the boat and just sail across the Ocean of Tears. And just talk to people that were on the boat. Like, it was, it was so fun. Okay. Okay, uh, that's where I came from with the rope. So let's go down here. Let's see what's down here. Oh, where happened to my map? Oh, there it is. I love the teal nails, by the way. Thank you. Oh, wait, I can't attack these. 
act in magic. Favorite kind of pizza? Um, I love a good white pizza. I love a good, I love pine, I am a big pineapple on pizza fan, okay. Um, what's it called when it's like the tomato mozzarella basil? Um, a caprice. A caprice as a pizza is so good. Hawaiian pizza gang, fuck yeah. Pineapple belongs on pizza, okay. Nikki, how have you been, by the way? I love honey garlic alfredo. Oh my god, that sounds so good. That sounds so good. Give me my treasure. A potion, okay. I just love pizza, true. I think you like all pizza, right, Lunar? I've been good. Our foster fail is getting along nicely. I knew that was gonna be a foster fail. Oh my god, I'm good, I'm good. You know, I'm just chilling. Just chilling, living my life. Doing my things. Hanging out with you guys. I do, lol, yeah. <laughs> Hi, good, I'm dad. <sighs> okay, treasure. A broadsword? Wait, is that... What is he ha What is he wearing? He... What is Landon wearing? Oh, Landon's already wearing a broadsword. I shouldn't have brought, bought a broadsword either. The fuck? I could have saved so much money. We also got a dagger in here. I shouldn't have bought that. Oh, I guess I could just... I could just single thunder the green slime. I don't have to deal... But yeah, modern MMOs, it just it just doesn't hit for me. Like, I'll give you a really good example of how, like, I just know that this is true, is, like, the, the style. So, you know, Phase 3 just dropped, right, for, um, for Sod, for Season of Discovery. And they have this new thing called incursions that you can do. Oh, I didn't mean to attack with you, when I feel. Um, they have this new thing called incursions, where, like, you get these quests and you share them with your party, and you just go around and do them. And it's just... It's so, it's so retail, and it's so boring, in my opinion. Um, because basically, there's like pickup quests, and escort quests, and kill quests. Well, everyone just gets the pickup and escort quests, and skips the kill quest, because that is what, I thought I antidoted you. Um, because that's what's most efficient, and then you just run in a circle and you do them. And you leveled up, like, you level up fucking fast. Okay, you level up so fast, but it's boring. Okay, it's like it's like MMO players say that they they want a less grindy grind. They want to level fast to get to the end content, which is what they really want. And I think that they're right when they say this. Like people are very good at identifying feelings that they're ha having. They're very bad at identifying solutions to those feelings. And the incursions are just like such a retail thing. They're so retail, and they're just so boring. Because all you do is run in a circle and level up really fast. Um, and I don't like it. I mean, and I love that Season of Discovery is trying new things, but some of the new things are like a little bit too retail. Oh, there's nothing in here. I love Guild Wars 2 events and heart quests, that is fun to me. Yeah, I, I played a little bit of Guild Wars 2 when it very first came out, and the events were pretty fun. But that was kind of, it was new hotness at that time. I hadn't experienced something like that in a game before at that time. I should do some writing while on my cruise? You should! I've not written in forever. That is good, it's a good time, because you'll be like kind of alone with your thoughts. Okay, did I explore this whole area? Kiki! Oh my gosh, the bats talk. The heck, okay, hang on. Let me turn encounters off for a second. You should go give Guild Wars 2 another go. Maybe. Season of Discovery is keeping me pretty busy at the moment, so, like, I'm okay. Okay, I open that door, I open that door. Did I get everything? I think I got everything. I'm also gonna be hella drinking. We got the cheers, the cheers package. Yeah, I get cheers every time. Like, you can't cruise without it for real. Oh wait, I have to go around this way.
Okay, I think I ended up leveling up so much <gasps> that like I made things pretty simple on myself. I haven't felt like I have to go back yet. I need to cure Kira Kaneko though. I really feel like I'm gonna end up wanting to, to nap to, to restore spell slots before I wanna nap to um heal myself. I was laughing at a friend because they were hating on Gear Wars 2 because it doesn't have vertical progression. I don't, I don't, I don't, they want, I mean, there's so many games out there. Can't there be one without, like, vertical progression? I, I guess it still doesn't have it, have that. I, I literally only ever played the base game. So I don't really know what it's like now. Okay, there's a third basement. Phoenix down, okay. I talked them into playing and they said there's nothing to do. I definitely didn't have that problem when I played Guild Wars. There was plenty to do. It just didn't grab me very much. I don't know, man. Certain games get me in a chokehold and I'm just like, they're everything for me. Oh, I'm out of curas. Let's do, let's give him a potion as well. Basically, no leveling past 80, and you can get gear that will let you raid and run dungeons pretty easily. But isn't that what every MMO wants to have? Like, that's how that's how they are. Give him another potion. Kira is just has nothing on Kira. Okay, there we go. His health is back good. Yeah, but he wants that infinite gear gear number get big grind. Oh, like how retail WoW has mythics? I hate that concept. Whereas I want to do the content and do the content, not not the rewards. Yeah, exactly. Like I want the rewards too, don't get me wrong, but like if there's if there's uh, no content that makes the rewards enjoyable, then who cares? Oh, these are these are called gray oozes. Very blue. Very blue for gray. Yeah, I want to do the content for the content, you know. Like in WoW, if it gets to a point where I feel like I've done all the content I want to do, I'll just raid log. Like, and I don't think that there's anything wrong with that. Like, I think that's fine. Everyone should raid log sometimes. There's a long-term grind for legendaries, which are super flashy items that will really change their stats to other stats at any time. Oh, I, yeah, like, I remember, I remember what they implemented that. Not in combat change builds any time, and that's kind of the penultimate grind that a lot of the content leads to. So that's the problem with MMOs, is that there's no end. <laughs> but usually when I get to the end of an MMO, I start treating it like a cozy game. Um, and do like decorating and, uh, and, and uh, transmogs and things like that, you know. Not that you can really do that in WoW, since so they don't give you a house. I saw the... Uh, did you post it? Somebody posted the craziest April Fools. Like, housing is coming to season of discovery. Man, I wish. That would be so cool. I would pet collect too. Yeah, you posted the April Fool. Okay, yeah, it was you. I would love that. Ooh, more guilt. Nice. Wildstar. I love that housing. I've never played Wildstar. And you could make a neighborhood with friends. Nice. Did you play that game, um, Palea, when it came out? I think it actually got its real release recently, but I played it when it was open beta. I'm not big on Palea, yeah. I wasn't either, because it didn't feel like an MMO, but it had very good crafting and decoration. But I just wish the servers weren't the way that they were, so it actually felt like an MMO. But you would see the same people all the time, you know? Did you ever play Lotro in the original incarnation of Lord of the Rings Online? Yes, I did play it. Um, I remember thinking, like, it's cool that an MMO, there's an MMO of this world, but um, I never got to endgame or anything.
I think I leveled like one character over the course of a month or so, and I don't even think I got them to max before I was like, yeah, I'm good. I feel like you'd enjoy questing and stuff since it's exactly the vibes you want. Maybe I should give it another try. It's free to play now, right? It's mostly free to play. Oh, maybe when I'm done with Sod, I'll look into it. Right now, though, like, it's all about Season of Discovery. Like, I know I'm not gonna play a new big game like that until I'm done with Sod. Because I'm, like, loving it. I think the raids are really fun. Um, I've got a guild I really like, you know. Oh my god, this place goes on for fucking ever. There's a third row of these after I finish this one. Let me know if you look into anything other than Sod. I'd love to play with you. <laughs> I'm so sorry you don't like Sod. Because it's really fun. I like tear it up. Why did I have them all attack the green one? That was so dumb. Not paying attention. Just chit-chatting. Okay. Let's actually do this battle. Mm, oh yeah, not you. Let's thunder you. Yeah, I get it. It's like, it's different tastes, you know? Different tastes. Okay, now we can do something. I totally wasted that first turn. I'm not even thinking. You're better at finaling the fantasies than this, Karen. God. I like that slow grind stuff, but Classic WoW is hard for me since I've been there, done that. Yeah. I totally get it. There's enough different stuff in Sod for me that I'm happy, though. I do wish they would make a for real Classic Plus, though. Where, like, there was, you know, um, kind of like you've got on a lot of WoW private servers, where they have, like, um... Like, a Mount Tab and Pet Tab and Guild Bank and, you know, some of those quality of life improvements without really making the game less crunchy. You know, I think stuff like that would be really cool if they would do that. But I don't know that they ever would. Die in here. At least I do have a phoenix down, so if someone does die, I I don't have to run all the way back to the to the church. Why are the green ones werewolves? They're just wolves that are green. And they do poison. The green ones have to have magic, right? I think so. Yep, 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 these are the magic ones. Oh, wow, the Blazara effect is cool. Ice explosions. Oh, a copper armlet. I guess I shouldn't have bought those either. Okay, third row of doors. And so many enemies in here poison. Kind of redonkulous. Oh my 
god, just die already. Thank you. Oh, I'm out of poisonas. Only have cures. Boo. Potions. This place going to end soon? Oh my god, there's a fourth row. There's a fourth row of doors below me. I can see it on the map. My god. I am gonna have to go back and, uh, and take a nap. And stock up before we finish this place. I'm, re I'm realizing why I probably didn't beat this dungeon when I played this game before. This place is massive. Okay. Let's let's try. Let's do another door. Uh. I don't trust that. That's what she said. <gasps> We're gonna come back to that room. I have a feeling. And I don't wanna get, I mean, those pirates just straight up attacked me, you know? So, yeah. Lessons learned. Don't just go have conversations with suspicious looking things. Like a chest surrounded by gargoyles. Turn off encounters. Okay, the fourth row is the bottom. Okay, thank fuck. Okay. We still gotta go do the fourth row, and we gotta go do the suspicious room. Uh, but... Let's get, let's get out of here. I think the rope was in this corner. And let's go take our, let's go take a nap. Oh my god, this is huge. Oh, it's stairs. Oh, I remember, I remember. My god, that was so many floors. Okay. Now now this rope is up here. Yeah, in this room. Get in there. Okay. Alright, Marsh Cave, you're just gonna you're just gonna take you're gonna take going in two twice before I finish up with you. I need a nap. And I think I have a lot of gill now. Yeah. I have a lot of gill so we can buy spells. I actually think I can afford all of them. Especially if I sell some of the junk. Okay, so we have Poisana. Yeah, we're gonna get Poisana, Vox, and Fear for her. And for Koneko, let's see what we're gonna go get. Let's get... Okay, we got Blizzara. Let's get Haste for sure. Then we've got Sleepra. Put one enemy to sleep. Or causes enemies to turn on each other. Let's do that. That sounds great. Okay, we actually bought everything. Oh my god. Oh, I can't sell. Okay. I should be able to sell at the armor store. Welcome. Okay. 
you know, something I'm noticing, that dude talked about Mithril, buying Mithril stuff. There ain't no Mithril stuff here. I checked every store, there ain't none. I thought maybe it would appear after I went into the Marsh, marsh Cave or something, but no, it's still this stuff. Okay, how much I got? Okay, I got plenty to not have to run back to the cheap naps. Let's take an expensive nap, you guys. This is a luxury nap. This is a luxury elf nap. We're so vibin'. Okay, now that we've had our luxury elf nap, let's go uh, finish this cave. Oh, nope, that's a dead end. Go around here. There we go. All right, then we're gonna take the rope down, and then the stairs down. Then we'll be back where we were, and we can turn encounters back on. Okay, turn it back on. I think the stairs were in the bottom right corner. She missed! Luna, you missed! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I remember where to go. Do I have more antidotes? I do have one. Okay. Well, Lunar's gonna use her Poisana. Alright, then we're gonna go all the way down to the fourth row. And you were a beast with that sword. Okay, here's the bottom. Finally. Be a mystic key door. It would be. The heck. Oh my god, all the poisons. The werewolves count. Werewolves don't count as undead.
he sees my poisana and he says bye. I don't need no one that can cure the poison. Oh my god, are all of these bottom ones gonna be Mystic Key? Bottom ones are gonna be Mystic Key. All of them! But I'm a thorough bitch, so I'm gonna check every single one. Cause I just can't leave a stone unturned. I just can't do it. I'm a I'm a curious gal. Okay, what's this? Two doors. This one's probably Mystic Key too, because they go to the same friggin' place! Okay, well that was a waste of time. Yeah, I've checked all these. Okay, so this is back on the road we were on. So let's have to find the one that's got the scary statues. There we go, okay. Mm. Okay. I knew it was gonna fight me. Fight and then oh, Pis Pisca Demon? What the heck? What is that? Are they undead? Holy shit! Back to us, Lunar. These guys hit hard. Oh, thank God they're dead. Sorry, Lunar. Sorry you didn't get the XP from that. Hey, the crown. Okay. We got the crown. Okay, we can get out of here. 
Oh my gosh, Lunar's dead. Uh... Okay. Let's skedaddle. I'm sorry, Lunar and Koneko, that you guys keep dying. I'm very sorry. It's not- this is not my intention. It just keeps happening. No worries, good. I'm glad you're chill about dying. <laughs> Everyone should be. I didn't mean to hit the microphone there. Okay, these guys are crazy with their colors. Now they're calling a blue spider a black widow. I just noticed that. They call the green wolves werewolves. They call the blue slimes gray slimes. There's all kinds of craziness. Okay, so we got the crown. So let's go back to Elfland and see what they'll let me do next. You know who wasn't in here, though? The dark elf guy they kept talking about. Astos. I thought I would fight Astos. And I didn't. Like, I thought for sure that suspicious treasure chest with all the gargoyles around it, Astos was gonna, like, pop out and I was gonna have to fight him. Ah, she's out of spell slots. Do we have any antidotes? We have one. Okay. My god.
All right. First order of business in Elfheim is have a nap. Then we'll go give the prince his crown. Expensive nap. Okay. Oh, can I buy Mithril now? Now that I've beat the Marsh Cave? No. Why are they talking about Mithril when there's no Mithril here? I forgot I had to go into the different graphic to get to the castle. Hey, I got the crown. The prince has slept under Astos's curse for five years now. There must be a concoction that can rouse one who sleeps so, but where? Okay, this is exactly what you guys said before. Okay. So was that cave not where I was supposed to go? That's where I thought I was supposed to go. All right, wargs, I'm well rested. I just had the best nap ever on the nicest, most plush pillows with the most soft silken sheets. I'm ready. Ready for your nonsense. Western Keep. What's this? There's no treasure chests. Just a couple doors. Mystic Key, of course. I can't get in there. Okay, what about this door? Oh wait, wrong way. It's kind of creepy that there's no encounters in here. Oh, I didn't mean to zone out. Go back. Oh, this way. <laughs> you fools fell right into my trap. I am Astos, King of the Dark Elves. I had no idea. <laughs> That's who the fuck was here. Okay. Well, now we're fighting Astos, which is what I was thinking this whole time we were supposed to be doing. With the pa combined power of the crown you now hold, and the crystal eye I already present. Oh, wait, we need the crystal eye. I will become the true elf king. It is useless to resist me. I can take what is mine by sheer force. Yeah, nobody in the game told me about this. Okay. But, uh, let's do it to it! Vampires are definitely undead, right? He looks like an undead, like, dark elf thing. Okay. Let's also do... Single target, so we'll just blizzard. Oh, you missed! Oh, he's not undead. Okay. I thought he would be. 
Okay, does she have anything that can do anything to him then? Probably not. Oh, he's gonna haste. Okay. You know what? I can haste too. I'll do that next turn. One. Her hammer only hit for one? What the heck? Alright, well, let's haste Landon. Give her more attacks. So rude! Oh, it don't matter, he did. But a slow me, did y'all see that? Disgusting. Can't slow me down. Yeah, I got the crystal eye. Okay. Sweet. We know where that goes. Do these bats say anything? They all just say Kiki. Kiki! Kiki Ute. Obviously, I'm supposed to take the Crystal Eye to Matoya, but I want to go see if now that I have both of those items, if they'll say anything different in the castle. So I'm going to go check that real quick. I meant to go into the castle. Get out of there. Just keep saying concoction. Okay. I guess we have to get the concoction from Matoya. You know what I bet was supposed to happen? I bet I was supposed to go up to that structure in the north first, and then he was saying, bring me the crown. And then I go into the marsh cave, and then I get the crown from there. And then I bring it to him, and he's like, haha, I tricked you, and then I kill him. I bet that's, like, story-wise what I was really supposed to do. He said he tricked me, but he didn't. <laughs> Hell, he didn't trick me with anything.
He f fled. Rude. Landed here. Um, we don't have very much long left in the stream, so I'm gonna turn encounters off real quick when we run for running to Matelia's. Let's give her a crystal eyeball, eyeball back. Hopefully, she gives me the drought. Oh, that's the chaos shrine. That's not where I want to be. Where was Matelia's? Is she this yellow dot up here? Yes. Matoya, I brought your eyeball. Oh, what's this? My crystal eye? Give it here. Don't worry, I have something to give you in exchange. Take this potion. It's the most amazing potion in my entire collection. Yay, Jolt Tonic. Okay, sweet. Ah, I can see, I can see again. Yay, good job for you, Matoya. You can see again. All right. Gonna save. Alright, I know the people are in an ad right now, so I'm just giving it a few seconds before we before we talk a little bit. All right, thank you guys so much for tolerating the ad and welcome back. Um, I, uh, I am going to go ahead and, uh, and pause and save here. So this is basically where we're stopping. We just gave Matoya back her crystal eye and she gave us a jolt tonic, which, you know, they keep asking for a drought, <laughs> a drought to cure the prince. So I assume that's what's going to happen next. And we'll be playing more of this next weekend. So if you enjoyed Final Fantasy one, come back. Um, Come back, oh, no, last week, tomorrow. Come back tomorrow for some more. We're gonna be doing, um, we're gonna be doing more. Um, we're playing this all this weekend and all next weekend. Uh, it's a pretty short game, so we'll probably get pretty far in those two weekends. So yeah, if you're watching the recorded version of this on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. If you would like to come on over live on my Twitch, we would love to have you, um, so you could do that. Also, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day. <laughs>